What's going on, everybody? Back again today to talk about another TV show, doing a TV show review. Uh, kind of an older TV show, and it is an HBO show. It is Spawn, the animated series. So, if you saw my previous video that I did probably going on like a week ago, uh, I got home from this big trip I went on for work, and the McFarlane Kickstarter Spawn figure was here like it had been delivered after I, I I donated to the campaign like a year ago and it finally showed up in the mail so I got the figure and the figure has revitalized this interest with that I have with Spawn I I'm rereading Spawn comics and I decided to start rewatching the animated series since I have HBO Max it's on there it was an HBO show to begin with so yeah I'm rewatching it and I got to say like it's not bad uh, I definitely think uh, among the good things that were done with it were the casting. I think all of the characters, all the voice actors they got for the respective roles were perfect. Uh, Keith David was perfect for Spawn. There's just a couple things about it that really throw it off for me. I'm really not surprised that it got canceled after three seasons. And it's been a long time since I watched it all the way through. I think the last time I watched it all the way through was probably... Um, it's probably like 20, 19, 20 years old. I'm 28 now, so it's been a while since I watched it all the way through. There's just some things about it that kept it from being a, a true success. And one of those things is the voice acting. Not that it's bad voice acting, but I don't know if it was just the technology, the microphones that were used to record the voices it doesn't feel like these people are delivering their lines the way that they're supposed to. For instance, like the animated characters in the show will be like in a room in an office and they'll just be talking to each other from like across the room, you know, like, like an office and one dude will be behind his desk. The other one will be standing near the door. They'll be talking to each other, but you can just tell, see if this, I'm going to try and describe this as best as possible. We'll see if this makes sense. You can just tell it sounds like like the like the voice actors just have their mouths right up to the microphone and they're talking in a very very low very quiet very just like normal voice like they're not taking into account the fact that the person that they're trying to talk to is you know some distance away from them they're talking very low like as if the person is almost like within a foot distance from them so they can still hear them it's too low the only reason it's not the only reason it's loud enough to hear in the show is because like it, it's a, it's on a tv or you're on your phone or on your laptop and you have volume settings on your phone so you can turn that up i could sit here with this headset and i could speak really really low and very quietly but if you turn the volume setup setting up on your computer you're going to be able to hear me no matter how low i speak that's what it seems like they did for the show. They had the microphones, the voice actors got real close to the microphones, and no matter what the setting was, it's like, okay, these two characters, they're in an alley. One of them is down at the other end of the alley, and one of them is, they're, they're at completely separate ends of the alley. And, but they're still just gonna talk in the same monotone, volume level, tone, and cadence. And it was just like in editing, like after the fact, after the voices were recorded, the editing department went in, they were like, okay, you know, use software or whatever to raise the volume of that guy's voice to 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 kind of make it work but it, you can just tell it's still it's like it's someone with their mouth right up against a microphone delivering their lines just very quietly into the microphone and it's annoying it's just like cringy i oh it bothers me i hate it uh there's no real acting you can tell these people were not so there's sometimes Spawn, Spawn himself sometimes, when he gets into his ang when he gets angry, he's kind of growling and he's, or he's yelling. Sometimes then I could I can kind of picture Keith David in the in the studio, uh, the voice recording booth, and he's maybe he's standing up, gesturing, delivering his lines. Uh, the voice of Jason Wynn, which is like the main antagonist, that dude you can just tell every single one of his lines it's just the voice actor is just sitting there like here's the microphone and here's his voice here's his mouth and he's just like we uh we have to kill spawn because 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 we have to it's what we have to do find 
find him. Find sp- it, it. It's doesn't matter what the setting it is. He could be talking to someone. 20 yards away from him. He could be talking to someone who's right there in his office with him. It's the same. He talks the same way. They've just like in the post-production, they've raised or lowered the volume using software, volume settings, whatever. It is the most annoying fucking thing about the whole show. Another thing that's really bad about it that I think kind of kept it from being more of a success, it's still thought of as a very good show and a very good adaption of the Spawn comic book. Another thing that I found was, uh, we'll take an actual look at a little bit of the Spawn show here. I'll pull up HBO Max here. Uh, Let me make sure that the volume setting here is low. Yeah, just pretty much all the way low. Let's hit play. So here you can just see what some of the animation looks like. Uh, we'll, we'll go full screen. It's just really dark. Everything is dark. If there's not some kind of immediate light source, like the lamp from everything, look at this, everything's shrouded in shadow. Everything. And the parts that are not shrouded in shadow are these, you know, very grungy, that looks cool, the cigarette. But like... Everything is just grays and shadow. Let's move forward a little bit here into even this guy, the clown's coat. There's some red, a little bit of color. Spawn, you very, very rarely in this show get to see his costume, which I think is dumb. I think it's really stupid because there's the red. Season one, they're a bit better about it. You can actually make out the details of the mask with the white and the red cape. They were much better about it in season one. But as the show went on, it just became less and less. You didn't really see Spawn. You just saw the shape of him, maybe his cape, and the green of his eyes. And that's all you saw. And I don't know why, because if you look at any Spawn comic books, this is this is the very first episode that we're looking at here. I could have sworn I turned this off. This uh, this is the very first episode, and like I said, they were better about it in the very first episode. This looks actually tolerable. I can deal with this, but let's take a moment here. Let's hit back. So here's the homepage on HBO Max. Uh, we got this is all season one right here, and you can see you're like, oh, that's quite a bit of color and whatnot that we're looking at here for each one of these episodes. Well, let's go all the way to season. Let's go to season two. Let's go here to season two. Let's check out this season finale of season two let's just look through let's just kind of skip through this a little bit there's the buildings look here's spawn this is all you get to see of spawn from at this point in the show you get to see the red cape sometimes it doesn't it's not even red you just see the outline of it you see kind of the general outline shape of his head and then you just see the green eyes like spawn's costume is one of the cool it's one of the coolest things about spawn it's a cool costume Why they didn't show more of it, I don't have a freaking clue. But they just didn't. Uh, Let's see if we can find other examples. This here, here he is. Here's Jason Wynn sitting in his office. Uh, The main, that's him, the main bad guy. Everything. Oh damn it, we missed it. Let's see if we get a better shot. The clown is like possessing his TV. Everything, everything is so shrouded in shadow. It's like these people never turn their lights on. He's in his office. It's later in the evening. The sun has gone down. And he's just relying on whatever light comes through the big window behind his desk. Like, he has no light. Everything's shadow, 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 shadow. <clears throat> if you if you don't watch this show in a pitch-dark environment, you won't be... Shadow, shadow. You won't have a clue what's going on. Especially in the the darker scenes. Like, right... these This is, this is supposed to be at the police station... Wherever there's there's lighting, the building is lit up. Everything's supposed to be seen. And look at how grungy and dark this is. Wait till we get to like a dark alley, which we will go to many times in this show. There's once again, this is Spawn. You can see him. It's just the outline and the green eyes. Nothing more than that. Shadow, shadow, more shadow. Barely able to see fucking anything. <clears throat> shadow. Was it really necessary to put just shadow everywhere? Oh, we wanted to give it that comic book look. Yeah, well, you fucked your show. Look at it. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Once again, they're in a club. They're in a, they're in a restaurant. Look at how poorly lit this restaurant's supposed to be. Holy shit. It just doesn't make sense. Once again, here we are 
broad daylight daytime. <clears throat> this reporter's coming to talk to her. This isn't too bad. Still shadow, 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 shadow. Every, like half of this guy is just shrouded in shadow. The cone, everything. Like I said, like you try watching this show in anything other than a pitch black room, shadow, shadow. You're not going to be able to see a damn thing. The guy tries to crawl up from the sewer. You're going to get a good look. Spawn just pulls him back into the sewer. I hope I'm demonstrating my point to you guys, like what the hell I'm talking about. There's Spawn. Can anybody really get a good look at Spawn there? Just the green eyes. That's all we get. Green eyes in the cape. Maybe a hand. That's all we get. There he is. No real look at him at all. It's kind of disappointing. I gotta be really honest. I hope I'm not giving away any spoilers with this, but... I just want to make sure I'm making my point that like it's everything in this show had to just be shrouded in shadow. It had to be super hard to see anything. I don't know. It's a little ridiculous to me. But yeah, let's take a look at some Spawn comic book artwork here. This is, uh, I'll go with the latest one. I only have, it's the Origins Collection volumes. I have volumes one through five. So five is the latest one. So like I said with the show, the animated series, season one, they started out, yeah, there was still that like shadowing effect across people's faces and bodies and everything, but it was better. The colors were more vibrant and they showed off more. Uh, by the, by just by season, the season two finale that I showed you, you could tell like everything was fucking gone. You could barely see anything, but now let's take a look at some spawn artwork in a comic book and see how colorful, well illustrated it is or is not. So look at this dude. This isn't spawn, but here we go. Here's a villain spawn fights called The Curse. He just shot Spawn through the chest. Does this look like it's all shrouded in shadow and just super hard to fucking see? Not at all. I don't know whose idea it was. They're like, hey guys, let's let's illustrate this show. Or let's let's animate this show in a way to where people have to watch it in a pitch black room. Or else they're not gonna be able to see a goddamn thing. It's dumb. And it's a shame because the show is really good. The story and the plot are pretty fucking good. It starts out with it being kind of like <clears throat> more of like a spy drama. Uh, not so much a <clears throat> the heaven and hell aspect of it, the supernatural aspect of it. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. That's lingering there in the background. But it's not at the forefront of the show. The majority of the show is like Spawn dealing with uh, unfinished business from his past life. And in his past life as a human, he was he wor he was a force recon marine. Then he worked with the CIA protecting the president. Then he worked for the CIA as like a assassin. Uh, so this dude, he had a, some unfinished business with some loose ends to tie up. And it's more like that. Like, Jason Wynn, I said, the main antagonist, he's supposed to be, like, the director of the CIA or the director of Spawn's department of the CIA that he was a part of when he was a human. Here's just a bit more artwork. Spawn fighting the curse. Once again, does it look super shroud? There's covered in shadow. Hard to see. Dark. Nope. Not at all. And that's, that's volume five. So, from one to five, there's still... Showing a lot of good color, a lot of good stuff. Yeah, the sh the covering everything in shadow and making it really hard to see, that was a dumb decision. But it's a lot of like, it's like a, it, the show plays out like, kind of like a spy thriller. Uh, and it just has Spawn. He's just there in the background. Uh, people are think people are selling arms to terror, illegal arms dealings to terrorists. One of the other agents who used to be Spawn's best friend back in there when Spawn was alive. Uh, he uncovers the plot. They label him a traitor. They try to have him killed and try to have his wife killed. And meanwhile, Spawn's just in the background, kind of intervening, taking people out and whatnot, protecting the people from his past that he cares about, while at the same time trying to uncover what's happened to him. Like, what what is he now? 
why is he the way he is? What is his purpose? What is he supposed to do? They do reference things like Malbolgia, which is like the demon devil lord of hell that created him and made him into a hell spawn. They reference him by name, but they never show Malbolgia in this show. It never got that far. Uh, seasons one, two, and three dealt with the whole, you know, leftover unfinished business from his human life. <clears throat> And then they just start to try and like, they just begin to hint at the greater conflict between heaven and hell and the angels and the demons. And then the show got canceled and it was done, which kind of sucks because that's some of the really good stuff and the really fun stuff about Spawn. Uh, but what we got of it is good. I would love to see a remastered version of this show put out on like blu-ray but have them go back and do some editing to it like make the colors more vibrant raise raise the brightness i get it like the shadow everything being covered in like halfway being covered in shadow that's kind of a set in stone thing you can't really mess with that that can stay, but everything else, let's turn the brightness up. Let's, let's buy Let's make the colors more vibrant. Let's make them stand out a bit more. Uh, if you could go back through and just like on, when you have the silhouette, the, the outline of Spawn's face and just the two green eyes, can we at least see the mask? Can you, could you, if you, if they, if they ever did a remaster, I would love to be able to just like actually see the white portions of the mask and the black Spawn's mask is Spawn's whole entire costume is badass. It's cool. So why you would try to hide that in favor of just doing this like dark in the shadows like bullshit? Fuck are you doing? Anyway, but overall I'd give the show I don't know probably more of like a seven out of ten. It's not bad. If you're interested in Spawn, and you really want to get into Spawn. I highly recommend that you just uh, read some of the comics. This these these volumes of the Origins Collection they're really good. They're a good fun place to start. Uh, yeah. So, give me one second here. So, yeah. Uh, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's not that great. The, the comics are probably the better way to go if you're interested in learning more about Spawn. Uh, but the show's not bad. And if, if you don't really have access to these... these Because th this Origins collection of the trade paperbacks for the Spawn comics... This is seriously the original comic book series from back in the day uh, from beginning to end. Like, and I'm not talking about like the re the rebooted beginning of this character. Like you would get with something like DC. It's really the beginning. Like in this, this is volume one of this collection and it's starts off with spawn. Number one, the very first appearance of spawn by Todd McFarlane. So yeah, uh, I would definitely check these out. The show's not bad. Like I said, these are kind of hard to find. You might find them at some comic book stores if they keep a good stock supply of trade paperbacks. They might have these. Otherwise, you're probably going to want to... You're probably going to have to get these offline, maybe Amazon. And if that's not your thing, then yeah, give this show a try. But like I said, 7 out of 10, C plus at most. Uh, just for the fact that it's hard to see shit. The voice acting on some people just like talking into the microphone really close kind of just irks me, but that's a personal thing. Uh, I don't know if that's going to bother everyone, but not being able to see shit is going to bother everyone. And then also the fact that it, the show just kind of ends before it gets into any of the really good stuff, the greater conflict between heaven and hell and all that. That's also kind of a downer. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Anybody else that's seen the Spawn animated series from HBO, leave some comments below. Give me some feedback. If you like what you've seen here, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. And I will see you guys next time.